Okay, the distributive property, like you should remember distributive property, right? But let's talk about the word distributive. Um, if I am going to distribute something, right? If I'm distributing, what does that mean, right? There's distribution centers and all that uh, for companies. But what they're talking about is they're talking about um, passing things out, giving it out, right? So when we do distribution, just a quick review of this. What we want is to take this negative six that's out in front and we want to pass it out, right? So we're multiplying it. So I want you to write it like this. And every time I draw a line, I'm gonna write down the answer. Negative six times A is negative six. And we're gonna change all of these to X for the purpose of uh, all the variables are gonna be X. Just so um, you can't find the answer so easy. Um, but negative six times X is negative six X. Negative 6 times positive 8 is negative 48, right? So that's distribution right there. Uh, again, right here, the 4. If I'm going to take that, negative 4 times 1 is, it's not negative 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 9x is 36, and that's a positive 36 with the x the x has to come down okay so it, that makes it really easy uh, if i'm multiplying this six right here six times negative five is negative 30 and you still have the x all right so when i'm multiplying something with a variable and a number i always put the numbers together and then the variables together if there was a variable out here i'd multiply that second all right uh, this 2 right here, I don't know why they put it over here. We would multiply it in front, right? We usually put it in front. 2 times 9 is 18, but it has an x, so 2 times 9x is 18x. 2 times 10 is 20, and it's a positive 20, so we put plus, all right? So that is the distributive property. That's what we're doing for distribution.